everyone, my name is Sarah and I work in Casha Library. Today's first story is called Go On Your Whale, The Pirate Queen. It's by John and Fatty Burke and it's published by Gill Books. Young Gwanya O'Malley wanted to be a great sailor and leader. She and her parents lived near Clew Bay in County Mayo. Her father was a merchant with many ships. He took her sailing and fishing and taught her about the tides and the weather. Teenage Gronia was expected to be a lady and marry a chieftain, but she wanted to go to sea and have adventures. Everyone said that sailing was for boys only, but Gronia knew that was just silly. One day, she heard that a ship was going to Spain to sell hides and buy wine. Gorni wanted to go. Her parents said, no, it's too dangerous. Your beautiful long hair will get caught in the rigging and we might lose you. But Gorni had a solution. She cut off her hair and dressed in sailor's clothes. With her hair short, she was called Gorni Whale or Bald Gorni. And so her parents agreed to let her sail to Spain. The sailors on the ship were merchants, but they were also pirates. So Gronia Whale became a sailor on her father's ship and sometimes robbed other ships too. Very soon the other sailors said that she was as good as them, but Gronia knew she was better. On their way back from Spain, the ship was attacked. Gronia was told to go below and hide, but instead she climbed up the mast. There she spotted a pirate about to kill her father, so she bravely jumped down onto the pirate's back and saved her father's life. The crew drove off the enemy and cheered for Grand Whale. Later, Grand Whale met Donal O'Flaherty, a Galway chieftain's son. They loved each other and were married and had three children, Owen, Maeve and Murrow. Donal was always fighting for more land and power, so was known as Donal of the Battles. He died while fighting the Joyce clan. The clan tried to take over Donal's castle, but Grania Whale drove them away. Donal's family, the O'Flaherty clan, would not let Grania Whale be their new leader. So she went back to Mayo with her children, her sailors and her ships and became the leader of the O'Malley clan instead. With castles all along the west coast of Ireland, Grania Whale ruled the seas and islands. She became known as the Pirate Queen. The Pirate Queen had many adventures. One night during a terrible storm, she heard about a shipwreck. Risking her life on the wild ocean, she bravely rescued Hugh de Lacey, a young man from Wexford. Another time, Grania Whale was sailing down the east coast and stopped at Hoth Castle for a rest. But the gates were locked and she was told to go away because the family were having their dinner. Fiery Grania Whale saw the Lord's grandson playing outside and kidnapped him. She said she would return the child if the Lord promised never to lock the gates of Hoth Castle again and to always set an extra place at the table. He agreed and his grandson was returned home safe and sound. After several years, Grania Whale married again. Her husband was Richard in Iron Burke. Their son, Tibbet, was born at sea. Algerian pirates attacked Grania Whale's ship and came on board. After giving birth to Tibbet, Grania Whale rushed out of her cabin to help her crew defeat the pirates. She returned home with not just a captured ship, but a new baby as well. Richard Bingham, the English governor of Connacht, was Grania Whale's greatest enemy. He arrested her sons, Murrow and Tibbet, and this made Grania Whale furious. 
So she sailed to England to meet Queen Elizabeth and make a deal. Gronia did not speak any English and the Queen had no Irish, so they spoke to each other in Latin. Queen Elizabeth agreed to release her sons and move Richard Bingham out of Ireland. In return, Gronia Whale promised to stop attacking English ships. But years later, Queen Elizabeth sent Bingham back to Ireland, so Gronia Whale went back to her old ways too. She remained a fearless leader of both land and sea, the Pirate Queen of Mayo. Our next book is about all the good things we can be and how if we can't manage them today, we always have tomorrow to try again. Tomorrow I'll Be Brave by Jessica Hish. It's published by Trigger Publishing. Tomorrow I'll be adventurous, I'll play and I'll explore. I'll make or learn or try something I've never done before. Tomorrow I'll be strong. I'll climb and jump and run. It doesn't matter if I win, as long as I have fun. Tomorrow I'll be smart. I'll think before I act. I'll solve a puzzle, read a book, and learn a fun new fact. Tomorrow, I'll be curious. Please teach me something new. I'll ask why a million times, maybe a million and two. Tomorrow, I'll be creative. I'll colour and draw for hours. I'll play a game of make-believe and use my magic powers. Tomorrow, I'll be confident. I'll be proud of all I know. I'll stop and smile and think about how much you've helped me grow. Tomorrow, I'll be brave. There's nothing I can't do. I won't be scared, but if I am, I know that I have you. Tomorrow, I'll be all the things I tried to be today. Adventurous, strong, smart, curious, creative, confident and brave. And if I can't be one of them, I know that it's okay. But tonight I'm very sleepy, so now it's time to rest. Tomorrow I'll be all these things, or at least I'll try my best. The end. Thanks for watching everyone. See you next week for more stories.